If you want to take your iMovie editing skills to the next level on your iPhone or iPad, keep watching because I'll be sharing with you eight advanced editing tricks that you can use within iMovie. If you're new to the channel, we believe you can make an impact on people's lives through smartphone videos. So if you want to learn smartphone filmmaking, be sure to join the mobile creator revolution and subscribe today. So let's jump into these editing tricks. Tip number one is to color correct your footage before importing it into iMovie. Now in iMovie, there is a spot where you can apply different uh, color effects or filters to your videos, but it's super limited. But if you go into your photos app on your iPhone or iPad, you can apply filters and color corrections in way more detail. So here I am on a video. So I'm just going to click edit. And then on the side here, I can apply these filters, but I can also adjust how powerful the filter is. So if something's a little too strong, I can bring it down just a little bit. And then I can go over to the left side here to this knob and do even more adjustments. So I can control exposure. I can control highlights, shadows, contrast, brightness, saturation, etc. All right here within the photos app iMovie doesn't have these advanced effects within the app, which is kind of weird since Apple made the Photos app and Apple made iMovie. So before you go and import your footage into iMovie, apply to filters and corrections first and then import it right into iMovie. Tip number two, I want to show you how to add social media logos with PNG photos. For example, this right here would be an example of me showing my Instagram link. I want to show you how you can create this within iMovie. So the first thing we want to do is download our social media logo onto our device. So if you go onto Chrome or any other web browser, just search whatever social media thing you're looking for. For example, I'm doing Instagram and then type PNG right after. Now, PNG photos are basically photos without a background. So normally a photo has either a white or black background surrounding it, not PNG photos. When you click on them, the background is transparent. So that means if it's transparent, it's not gonna be there. So we wanna download these images. So I'm gonna download this Instagram photo onto my device. And now we're gonna hop into iMovie. So the first thing we want to do is add our text. So we're going to click on the video, click titles, and then we're going to add just a standard text in the lower area. There we go. Now I have that text added to my video. And now what we want to do is add that Instagram photo on top of this video. So I'm going to go and grab that. So there's the Instagram photo. I'm just going to click on it, click the options, and then I'm going to click picture in picture. What this is going to do is put it over the top of our video, as you can see there. Then what I'm gonna do is line it up for the length of the clip where the text is gonna be. And then what we're gonna do is move it. So for me on the iPad, I just click those uh, right up here in the corner. I just click that moving button to drag and reposition the Instagram logo. And I'm gonna try and line it up with the text. It could take a few tries. So just move it a few times and you'll eventually get it right. And as you can see, I now have my Instagram handle right on my video. Tip number three, I'm going to show you how to apply cinematic black bars onto your video. So in the same way, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Chrome and we are going to search black bars PNG. Now this is going to pull up those exact same images that have that transparent background. And so we're going to click on one that has the transparent background and we're going to save image. Then what we're going to do is we're going to import that in again as a picture in picture right over the top of our video. Make sure it extends for the whole video. And then what we're going to do is grab it and we are going to position it at full screen. And there you go. Now you have those cinematic black bars on your video. Tip number four is to change the text style by changing the theme of your video. So for example, if we go into iMovie and click on the settings, you'll see that we have a certain theme going on here, which is right now simple. But if you choose any of these other themes like news, travel, neon, you can actually get different text effects to apply to your videos. So for example, I'm gonna choose news. And then when I go to my text, 
I actually have access to these news openings, middle, and closing. So there, I just threw some text on, and now when we click play on this here, it actually does the really cool, professional, news report type text. And you can actually go through all those different themes and get different text effects for your video. Tip number five is to add music through a screen recorder. Now, iMovie does have some built-in music that you can get within the app, but again, that music is just kind of lame. It's not really good music that you want to really put in your videos. So if you instead get a screen recorder, you can add music straight from YouTube. The app I use is called Go Record. It's free. You just download it, set it up in settings, and then you can record your screen. It's actually how I'm showing you my iPad screen right now. But what you then can do is go onto YouTube and search up copyright free music. Now, I'll actually leave a link down below to a channel that has all copyright free music that you can apply to your videos uh, and you don't have to worry about them being copyright striked or all that kind of stuff. So basically what you're going to do is go onto YouTube, you're going to click on a video that's copyright free music and record your screen. Now what that's going to do is also record the audio of that video. So just play the video through with your screen recording the video. Once that's recorded, what you're going to do is then click on the video you recorded, add it to your timeline. And then what you're going to do is click on it and click detach audio. Then what you'll do is grab that audio and you're going to move it over your video and drop it, delete the old clip, and now you have that music underneath your video that you can play. Tip number six is to cut clips to shorten the text duration. So for example, in iMovie here, maybe we don't want this news thing to be on the entire length of the video. So what we can do is find the spot where we want the text to cut out, click on that video, and then just split it. What that's going to do is leave the text effect only on this part of the video, but then the rest of the video will just continue on as normal. So now, instead of it being on there the whole time, it'll eventually fade out real quick. So that way, if you don't want text on the whole video forever, just split the clip and it'll fade out much quicker. Tip number seven is to add zoom ins during your video. So maybe, for example, you want to zoom in on someone real quick for a little bit and then zoom right back out, just kind of what I showed you there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how you can do that in iMovie. So it's basically going to be three sections here. The first section is going to be zoomed out. The first sec second section is going to be zoomed in. And the third section will be back zoomed out. So what we'll do is on the second section, uh, for me on the iPad, I'll just click this plus icon. And I can pinch to zoom in. So we're going to zoom in on these people here real quick as they're walking. There we go. And then I'll click on that when I'm done. And because there's no transitions in between these clips, when I click play here, it'll show them walking. It'll show them zoomed in. And then it's going to zoom right back out. So that's how you would apply that effect in iMovie. And finally, tip number eight is to improve your video setup. Now there's a lot of cool things you can do within iMovie, but if you're not taking good video in the first place, it's gonna negatively affect how well your videos look. We actually have a playlist over here where we show you how to film on your smartphone, even if you're by yourself. So if you click that playlist, it'll go walk you through everything you need to know so that way you can make your smartphone video look professional. So I'll see you guys over there, and thanks for watching this tutorial.